So it's been a year since we moved to Poland, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you things I like and things that I don't like about living here. So yeah, I've been living in Europe for a year, and it has been a crazy adventure, and it's been a lot to get used to. Definitely a culture shock, but because I know the language, it was much easier on me, but today I'm gonna share with you a few things I like and a few things I didn't like. I have 11 good things and only six bad things, so not bad. Okay, so these are in no particular order. I'm just going to run through them. The first thing that I really like is the climate. I spent about a decade in Las Vegas, so we either had hot or not so hot, and to be able to have four seasons is super, super nice. I like the sun, and I like the snow, and I like the fall. I like seeing the leaves change. It's very pleasant for my eyes. The second thing, the landscape and the surrounding mountains and everything here is really nice. Like everything's super green here because of the high moisture and lots of rain. So, I mean, forests, green, mountains, hiking, biking, skiing, it's amazing. You could do everything here. The third thing that I really enjoy is the slower pace in life. Like everybody just kind of is relaxed here. It's very un-American. In America, it's go, 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 work, 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 sleep for four hours, then get back to work. Here, I mean, lunch is super long. Like, if you go to eat at a restaurant, they don't give you your check right when you finish. They, like, wait. You can have coffee and dessert, and, like, they're in no hurry. They don't want high turnover at their restaurants. They want you to sit there and enjoy your time. People, like, take long walks in parks with their family, and they, like, sit on benches and, like, feed squirrels it's it's crazy it's so relaxed here and sundays are completely off so if you haven't seen my other video watch that one the next thing that i like is the culture there is so much rich history here i mean europe's been around for a pretty long time and like there's buildings here from the 1400s like castles like huge gigantic castles with walls and towers like there's a lot of history here like the people that live here now are like generations and generations and generations. Like Polish people live in Poland. It's super homogenous. And that's like also a really good thing about Europe is like you go to Greece, there's Greek people. You go to Italy, there's Italian people. It's very, very homogenous. The next thing I like is Europe in general. Like every country like has their own people and has their own food and they're all super close to me. Like I'm just smashed in between, you know, Germany and Italy, and it's just all there. Super, super close. The next thing that I really appreciate are the flights. They are so cheap. Like, my in-laws just went to Italy, to Bari, for like a weekend, and it cost them the equivalent of 25 US dollars, round trip. Like, in America, if I wanted to fly from Las Vegas to Chicago, it would be... 350 to 400 dollars and that would get you an all-inclusive vacation for a week in egypt here with flight the next thing that i really appreciate is public transportation buses trams trains everything runs so smoothly here like this town is designed for pedestrians for bicyclists and for buses like there's bus lanes things go smoothly like you don't have to own a car here whatsoever. It's nice to have one so you can, you know, move furniture or, like, take your family somewhere on vacation. But, I mean, you don't need it. Like, it's super nice. It's even more practical to take a tram to work than it is your car because the tram has its own, you know, rails. So, like, it doesn't stop at red lights. It just goes straight to work. You don't have to wait. You don't have to get stuck in traffic. It's beautiful. If you wanted to drive like to another city like Warsaw, it would take you seven hours in traffic and on their high speed train, it's like two hours. Public transportation. America, take note. You don't have it. The next thing I like are the size of the cities. They're super, super small and condensed. Like everything's really, really dense. The city that I live in in Krakow is 20 kilometers in diameter. That's like 12 and a half miles. And I mean, everything's so close. You can walk everywhere. It doesn't, like in Vegas, it took, I don't know, an hour to drive across the entire city. Here, you know, you could do it in 15 minutes. Like the closest Walmart to me home was like 20 minutes away. And here I have three supermarkets within, I don't know, two minutes of me. 
The next thing that I really like about living in Poland is being close to my roots. Like my family was born here all like this is where my entire genealogy stemmed from. And it's super nice to see like where they grew up and the things that they did and like how Poland was during the communist era and all of this past about my family that I had no idea about. It's really nice to like get back to my roots. Oh, this next one, the food. Oh, the food, it's so hearty, it's so delicious, it's greasy, it's fattening. Like, it's the stuff that I grew up with when my grandma would cook, you know, just big portions. Mm. And it's it's nice to get authentically cooked food, not like, oh, there was a Polish restaurant in Chicago. This is like Polish people cooking Polish food in Poland. So, oh, my, I've gained a lot of weight since I've been here. A pierogi, hoo-hoo, inside joke. And the last thing that I really like about living here is driving. I heard that people here drive like crazy people, but that is the complete opposite of what I've experienced. I drove for a decade in Las Vegas where there are, I don't know, 8,000 car accidents a day. Here, everybody obeys the rules of the road. Like if there's a turn lane, everybody's in that turn lane. All the other lanes are empty. Like nobody cuts in front. Everybody's very courteous. Like you put on your turn signal here and people slow down and let you in because they're obliged to. When somebody lets you in or you accidentally cut somebody off, you put on your hazard lights as a thank you or an I'm sorry. And it's just super, it's polite. And the most amazing thing about driving here is that when a light turns green, all the cars go simultaneously. It's not like in a row like it is in America, how the first car goes, then the second car goes, then the third car, and then by the time the fourth car is there, the lights already changed. Like here, all the cars move like they're attached to a train and 15 cars get through on a red light. And the red lights change in like, I don't know, 45 seconds? Like it's like red, green, red, green. And traffic just flows here, it's so amazing. God, I still can't get over the fact that when you put your turn signal on here, people let you in. What a concept. Okay, now on to the not so fun part, the things that I dislike about living in Poland. The number one thing that I don't like here is that people are rude. And I'm not saying it like they're mean, they're just short and not customer service oriented. So if you go to a shop and you're like looking around and you want this shirt, but in blue, and you're like, hey, excuse me, do you have this shirt in blue? They're like, no, we don't have it. And you're just like, whoa, okay, like woke up on the wrong side of the bed, but it's not that, that's just how they are here. Like they're not paid to be good at customer service, they're just paid to be at the shop and sell things. The weird thing is they don't even wanna look for it because that's not part of their job description either. They just want you to go scurry off and find it. Like there's been so many times where I asked somebody if they had something, they said no immediately because that's the standard Polish response. And like three minutes later after looking, I found it. So they just, I don't know, it's, it, they're not customer service oriented here. And that's fine with me because when you go to a shop and you want to buy something in America, 19 salesmen come up to you and like harass you and you can't actually like look around enjoyably and like play and fiddle with things. Here, you can walk into a shop and you can walk around for an hour. Nobody will talk to you. They, nobody will approach you and ask you if you need help. I promise you that. The next thing that I don't like is the language barrier. Um, I do know Polish. I do speak it, but I still am kind of shy or embarrassed to speak it. So like long conversations I don't feel comfortable with unless I, like I know that person and they know that I'm going to make mistakes because I have an accent or I screw up some words it's just grammar is a pain in the butt like there's seven different ways to say the word two here like the number two you you have to associate it with like different things like two people or two cows would be a different way to say two I'll get used to it eventually. The next thing I don't like about living here are the prices of certain things. Like most things are super cheap, like bread and cheese and vegetables. Like they're pennies, like they're so, 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 so cheap. But things like TVs and iPhones, like, 
Okay, so the newest, cheapest iPhone is $699 in America. So over here, the equivalent would be $920. But then you have to consider the currency exchange, which is approximately 1 to 4. So it's 3,499 zloty, which is absurd because the earning potential is still the same as the United States. Like, say you have a good job and you get paid $3,000 a month. Here, you have a good job and you get paid 3,000 zloty a month. So you can see where that really messes things up. Like, to buy an iPhone, you have to spend more than what you make in a month. It's just weird, like, the correlation between the earnings and the pricing here, but some things are American pricing, which is multiplied by four. It, there's just, it's really inconsistent, and it's, you have to have a really good job. You have to basically earn the equivalent of 3,000 U.S. dollars if you wanted to just, like, buy everything new and, like, have all the best of everything, but most people don't live like that here. Like, far from it. Very, very few people live like that here. Also, with pricing, uh, gas prices are ridiculous here. They're about twice the amount as the United States, but then again, multiplied by four. So, and it's per liter here, not per gallon. So that's an even bigger multiplier. So say in the U.S., a full tank of gas in your Hyundai costs 30 bucks, right? A full tank of gas here would cost you 300 zloty. So imagine spending $300 on a tank of gas. It's it's quite absurd. Like, I have a car that is on gas, but it also drives on liquid propane gas, so it makes it way cheaper for me. It's a way better option. And the last thing that I hate about living here is if you need to take care of anything like at the DMV or getting a new ID card or a passport, the process and the paperwork and the double checking and the stamping and the waiting in lines and like making reservations to go for your visit. It's so convoluted. Like, it's like a chicken-egg scenario. Like, you want to get your driver's license, but you have to have your citizenship paperwork. But to get that, you have to have some proof of ID. But to get that, you have to have your birth certificate. And I had one from America, but then I had to get it reacquired in Poland as if it were a Polish birth certificate which made me have to get it translated and then authorized and stamped and notarized and then sent to them. And then there was like three month processing time. Like it's so convoluted. You, it would blow your mind getting things situated here. It's so absurd. Anyway, overall, I'm very, very, very satisfied with living here. The culture, the food, the slower pace in life, the more time with family, it's been an absolutely incredible adventure. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life in Europe. Like the amount of vacations to different countries that I have the potential to take is absurd. And I'm so happy about it. I'm very relaxed. I'm calm. I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life. And I suggest or I would advocate living abroad for a little bit and experiencing these other cultures because who knows, you might fall in love. You might move there. I hope you guys appreciate this video. I hope you guys like the content. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one.